Welcome to Dorman Products Suspension Air Compressor Installation Video. Before you begin, please note this installation is considered medium difficulty by our technicians and should take approximately one hour to complete. Basic car knowledge is essential, but no specialty tools are required. Tech note, clean the components and the surrounding area to prevent dirt from entering the air system. This compressor also contains a thermal shutoff protection switch, which will help shut down the compressor prior to failure if it were to continue to run due to leaks. This allows the tech to determine the leaks using smoke testing or other methods. The compressor switch will allow a restart once it's cooled off. Removal Procedure As a first step, raise and support the vehicle and remove the left rear wheel. Before removing the airline tubes, perform the following steps. Turn the ignition on with the engine off. Install a scan tool. With the scan tool, exhaust the air from the system for at least 60 seconds. Note, there will be a minimal amount still in the air tubes. Disconnect the air inlet hose from the fuel filler neck bracket and discard the clip. Next, remove the left side air tube from the shock absorber. Loosen the compressor mounting nuts. Dislodge the air compressor by sliding rearward and up at a 45 degree angle to clear the frame slots. Disconnect the electrical connector and right side air tube from the compressor and remove it from the vehicle. Installation Procedure When installing the new air compressor, reconnect the electrical connection, right side air tube and air inlet hose to the compressor using a new clip. Ensure the air tube connection is secure by pushing the air tube onto the shock until it clicks and then push and pull on the connection to ensure connection is secure. Insert the compressor by sliding it forward to secure the fasteners into the frame slots. Tighten the mounting nuts. Reconnect the left side air tube to the shock absorber. After the new air compressor is in place, reattach the wheel. Caution! Do not pressurize the air springs or shocks under load or else damage to the air spring or shocks will occur. Always pressurize the system with the wheels of the vehicle off the ground. Lower the vehicle but do not allow the four wheel assemblies to contact the ground. Perform the following procedure after the air compressor has been replaced. Turn the ignition on with the engine off. Install a scan tool and operate the air compressor for 15 seconds or until the rear of the vehicle begins to rise. Remove the scan tool. Cycle the ignition off, then back on, with the engine on to allow the air suspension system to regain the desired rear suspension position. Continue to lower the vehicle. Finally, start the vehicle and run for approximately one minute to ensure the air compressor is functioning properly and the system is completely pressurized.